The number of new coronavirus cases continues to fall in Georgia, a trend highlighted by Governor Brian Kemp today. However, sadly, we are still seeing high numbers of deaths. Today, the Department of Public Health reported 30 more people in our state have died from the virus. Reveal investigator Rebecca Lindstrom looks at some of the numbers behind the heartache. The number of new cases may be trending down, but every organization that tracks COVID's impact still has Georgia in the red. That means this virus is not under control and is spreading through every age group in every part of the state. Just look at the number of people who died in the past two weeks in the four largest metro counties. Gwinnett and Fulton lead the way with more than 50 each. And these four counties alone make up nearly a quarter of the 758 people who died with COVID since the end of July. The other 75% are scattered throughout the state. The Department of Public Health doesn't separate white from Latino people in its data, but together they make up the largest number of people who died, 364 in the past two weeks. Black people made up 270 of those deaths and 10 people were of Asian descent. As of July 31st, our team at the Georgia Department of Community Health has surveyed 100%, 100% of our skilled nursing facilities for compliance with infection control measures. Today, the governor proudly discussed the state's efforts to curb the virus's spread in our long-term care facilities. That's a positive step, but in the past two weeks, 277 people still died in our nursing homes. That's more than a third of our deaths. While those 60 and older remain the greatest at risk for severe complications, more than half of those who died in this age group were not living in nursing homes. They were a part of our general population. Thanks to increased testing, we're catching asymptomatic people faster. But 20% of those who need intense medical treatment are still dying. When you simply look at the total loss of life, the numbers are growing. From an average of 16 people every day at the beginning of July to 50 people right now.